I'm on Campo Grande. I already packed my bags. I'm going to get my friend and then we head to Corumba on the border with Bolivia. We are gonna go through uh, Pantanal, so it's, it promises to be a nice day. This bag is quite easy to do. Go through here. Let me see if everything is okay. Always when you leave you have to check everything. Otherwise you might lose on the, on the roads. Too. This bike is a lot lighter than the GS. Uh, 1200 adventure Let's head towards my friends <laughs> Cheguei na hora? E aí, beleza? Cara, eu me atrasei, olha que eu dei, beleza, cara? Beleza, tudo jóia? Paulo, my friend, is on a XRE 300 Honda. It's like the CRF. It's very fast bike, but 300, but 70 kilos less than me. I was wondering before 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 start planning the trip that it would be better to get a smaller bike because these bikes are too heavy these uh, big trails and when you go off-roading because we are going to do a lot of off-roading is a lot better to do with uh, lighter bikes and it doesn't uh, this bike doesn't compromise much on the uh, motorway because he has like uh, a screen he has a big tank he has bigger autonomy than i do uh, as you probably know the f850 is shit in terms of autonomy 250 kilometers 270 kilometers uh, you know it's small it's light and it's fast enough you can go like uh, okay on a motorway and off-roading you know you don't have the power the torque that you have on the f850 but you can have a lot of fun guys we found an off-road track a different one a 10 kilometers that leads to Akidawana we're gonna try it it's called Estrada Parque and let's try man we came here for off-roading you know no it's not good man I have to lower it Porque tá com 35, velho. Tá bounce, meu pneu tá mó. Eu vou diminuir um pouquinho aqui. Cara, tá tenebroso. Ela tá, ela tá só pedrinha, ela já faz assim. Eu pus muito, eu acho, cara. Não, então, mas tem uma, tem uns pockets de areia, né? E aí que eu senti ela, tá toda hora assim, a sua tá assim também? É, então a minha tá, cara, tá muito cheio. Só checar. Ó. Ela tá com 28. Vou tirar só um pouquinho, mas depois eu tenho que encher, cara. Isso que é foda. Esse 
pneus tá novinha, cara. Tá novinha. Não, o cara falou que ele dura. Ó, tá beleza. Quer tirar um pouco? Eu vou deixar isso aqui porque é bom que. Cacete, velho. As you can see, the GPS doesn't show. Doesn't show anything. It's not mapped. This road here. So if you come around here, you have to find it yourself. an easy road but it does have like pockets of sand like this one so I lower the pressure the pressure now is is now on 26 oh for oh, look look how nice this place It's probably the Paraguay River. Probably a branch from Paraguay or Paraná River. Some kid. So we are in Aquidauana trying to find a place to have lunch and then carry on towards Corumbá, through the Pantanal, Estrada do Parque. Ah, oh, here it is. Opa, tudo bem? Estão <risos> vindo de São Paulo, vamos lá para o Peru, pela Bolívia é, Ali na fronteira ali. São 16 dias aí de volta, meio rápido Agora nós estamos indo para Corumbá Dormir lá, passar a fronteira e vamos Obrigado, viu? Nós estamos vivendo aqui da Wana, depois de ter um rápido lunch. As you can probably see, we are gonna get some rain on the way. It's not it's typical in this area, you know, very humid, a lot of evaporation during the day. <laughs> because of the warm weather and then rain in the late afternoon. Even though we are in winter. Boa tarde, tudo bem? Se eu for reto aqui vai dar onde? É na aldeia ou essa é a aldeia? Ah, já é a aldeia. E dá pra ir com a moto? Ah, daí é muito longe. Ah, beleza, mas não dá pra continuar. Ah, tá, entendi. Uma trilhinha ali aqui da Holanda. Beleza, valeu. Sim, é provavelmente protegida e, you know, essas áreas são demarcadas demarcated for the indigenous but they are very much civilized nowadays they live like all Brazilians 
they have cars, motorcycles, and all that. And probably people, I can see people here who do not even look like uh, indigenous. Let me harden the suspension. Yeah, it gets a little bit better, guys. If you get, if you put on Enduro Pro, the bike, the, the suspension hardens, and then you, it's a lot better. The bridge. Look how nice. Very easy roads, not a lot of sand, Lead some pockets of sand, but it's 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 hard to be sitting on the bike. I prefer to do like this because there are some huge potholes. Like this, you have to lift. Now is a different terrain, a little bit of earth. Look how beautiful this place is. Like red earth, red uh, purple earth, very fertile. In the middle of Pantanal, look at that guys. Look how beautiful this place. Now it's, a, it's less tricky than the other one. The other one was quite sandy at the end, especially pockets of sand before uh, jumping on up the bridge but now it got a little bit better look at this sunset guys again look at this what a beautiful scenery This was absolutely outrageous, man, this bridge. God damn it. What we got here? Like that. Hã? Pois é, cara, eu tinha esquecido dessa porra, velho. Caiu uma pedrinha no meu olho. Caramba, velho. Boa tarde
we finally arrived at Kurumba. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see the entrance of the town. Hotel Nacional in Curumbá. Uh, my stuff is already there. Very full of dust, you know, because there it is. Tomorrow we are going to uh, to cross the border. We are probably going to a small town close close to Santa Cruz de la Sierra and find some place to crash there. On the way, we might find some off roads to do. And that's all. See you tomorrow.